Welcome back, Chargers. You're watching the March 15th installment of DP News. I'm Rasmussen, comma, Sarah. And I'm Moskeva, comma, Lizette. Today on DP News. DP Write-a-thon. IB Art Show. And more. We made it through Monday, Chargers, and now you're watching DP News. The first annual DP Write-a-thon is going to take place on Wednesday, April 6th from 3 to 4.45 in the DP Library. Participants will be given topics to write about in any of the five genres, poem, essay, story, dialogue, and rant. They will then have the chance to win prizes and be published in Local Color Student Art Magazine. Local Color and Writing Center staff members are collecting sponsorships to support their programs based on the number of students who participate. So join for fun to win prizes and to support your local writing center and local color too. To sign up, Google DP Writing Center and click on the Write-a-thon link, then fill out the form under Participate. If you're ready to bust out your square dancing moves, the Hicktown Dance is this Friday, March 18th from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the cafeteria. Tickets are on sale at lunch outside the athletics office all week and after school on Friday. Tickets are $8 without a charger card, $5 with a charger card, and $10 at the door. Now over to Nathan and Peter to get you pumped. What's up, Chargers? It's Peter. Nate. Here to talk about Sadie Hawkins' dance. Um, it's Friday in the cafeteria uh, from 9 to 11. Um, you can bring anyone you want. And guest passes are available in Miss Marty's office, one per customer. By customer, I mean student. Now over to Nathan with some more information. It's here. Okay. So when Sadie Hawkins' dance originated over 50 years ago, it was made to break traditions and social norms. Now we want to continue that tradition of breaking traditions and make it inclusive to everyone at the school. Girls no longer only have to ask guys. Anyone can ask anyone. Everyone's welcome to come to the dance and have a good time. Wear all your Hicktown theme, clothing you have, cowboy theme. It's gonna be sweet. See you Friday. Get rowdy. Attention AP students, a friendly reminder that the very last day to register and pay for your AP exams is this Friday, March 18th. All exams that have not been paid for will be canceled if not paid in full by this date. Please stop by and see Ms. Rehage in Mr. Woodard's office if you have any questions. Do you have a creative mind or a desire to learn how to sing? If so, then check out these cool classes that will be offered next year. required and uh, there's going to be an advanced jazz choir fifth period but you do have to audition for that. You can take choir for a full year. I'm, you can join though at semester so it's basically just a semester class. Um, our teacher is Miss C, and she graduated just a little bit ago, um, and she was in the jazz choir when she was here, and now she's back. She just started this year, and it's really exciting, and she's just really passionate about vocal music, and it's really exciting to have someone that's basically a peer. Wow, looks like fun, Chargers. 
The annual IB Visual Arts Show continues through today and tomorrow in room H30 and the lobby to the EPAC. Stop by to show your support and appreciation for our classmates' talent. If you're interested in watching a bunch of seniors climb on top of each other and climb up a grease pole, then make sure to be in the Greek Friday at lunch. seniors it's gonna get greasy tomorrow march 16th is kick butts day put on by the campaign for the tobacco free kids it is a day dedicated to fighting for tobacco free youth and speaking out against big tobacco companies be sure to spread the word if you want extra help preparing for the essay on the S on the act a workshop will be held next week on march 23rd through the 24th during seminar in the library dell lab the two seminar periods will include a general overview of the expected essays, tips for how to approach them, and an opportunity to practice and get feedback. Workshops are limited to 30 participants, and students must sign up in advance at the Writing Center website by Googling DP Writing Center. Before we go, just one more reminder that Beautify DP is happening again this Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. Just keep calm and plan on, Chargers. It's almost Friday. That's all your campus news for today, DP. Here are Jeffrey and Dallas with your sports report. What's up, DP? I'm Dallas Flannery. And I'm Jeffrey Chow, here with your sports report. Boys Golf traveled down to Oxnard yesterday to compete against the Yellow Jackets. Our boys showed them who's boss by beating the Yellow Jackets with a score of 396 to 412. Mika Benedictis fired a 76 and three other golfers shot in the 70s in their non-league win over Oxnard. For their next match, they will travel to face Ventura on Thursday. Today, our baseball team faces against Arroyo Grande at home starting at 315. Come out and show them support. Go, Peter. Boys tennis travels to Santa Clarita and to compete against Valencia High School today. And their next match is at Ventura High School on Thursday. Congrats to junior Rocky Yusaka, who was yesterday awarded the Phil Wombo Ethics in Sports Award at the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable for her outstanding play in soccer and the pa and this past season where she received all Channel League first team accolades as well as her academ amazing academic career. Congrats to Rocky. Both lacrosse teams compete against crosstown rival San Marcos today. Our boys will compete against the Royals on our field at 6 p.m. And on the flip side, the girls team will travel to San Marcos to face the Royals at 6.30. The boys team has their next match on Thursday at Malibu High School against the Sharks. Track and field has their first league meet this Thursday against Santa Barbara on our field at 3. And boys volleyball will head down to Ventura to compete against the Cougars on Thursday in their first league match of the season. That's all for your sports recap, DP. Now over to Miss Bailey with your current events. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. For the first time, the NFL acknowledged that there is a link between football-related head trauma and chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE, which is a deterioration of the brain. Dr. Anne McKee, a Boston University neuropathologist, voiced her belief that there's a link between playing football and CTE. She said, we've seen it in 90 out of 94 NFL players whose brains we've examined. We found it in 45 out of 55 college players and six out of 26 high school players. No, I don't think this represents how common this disease is in the living population, but the fact that over five years I've been able to accumulate the number of cases in football players, it cannot be rare. In fact, I think we're going to be surprised at how common it is. That's all for today, DP. I'm Ann Bailey, sending it over to Nandini and Olivia with the weather.
up, dude? Olivia Nandini here. Today's weather will be a high of 77 degrees with a low of 55 degrees with surf of three to four feet with the highest point, 6 p.m. And tomorrow's weather will be a high of 80 and a low of 53 with a surf of three to four feet with the highest point at 7 a.m. Hey, Nandini, how do surfers say hello to each other? Stop. They wave. Catch you later, Chargers.